Aries. Welcome to your reading for this week starting the 12th of May. It's a general reading so take everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and my time to shine oracle which are newly shuffled. So let's find out. This is your overall energy, your help or your hurdle, how you can help yourself. Pulling it all together and the outcome. Right. OK, so let's start your reading. So the overall energy, the eight of pencils, brings in a lovely dose of self-belief for you. Because on this card, look, she's got all these negative thoughts in a balloon and she's just about to pop it with a pin. She doesn't need those anymore because she's just had this lovely delivery from the self-belief company saying, oh, yes, I can. And that needs to be your mantra this week. Your help or your hurdle. The seven of teacups says choose carefully. This card suggests that there might be quite a few choices and decisions to be made. And it encourages you to make some positive choices. But in order to do that, you need to be mindful. You need to step back like she's doing here and look at all these options carefully. Do your research, do your homework. Now, most of these cups have something lovely in them, like a flower or a butterfly. But there's one down here with a grumpy gingerbread man in it and she doesn't want to choose him. So she's assessing, she's taking a time, she's standing back. She's looking at all these options carefully. What do you need to focus on? The small details. Now, this is the eight of coins. And look, she's just putting those finishing touches onto this lovely batch of baking that she's done. So the eight of coins is all about small details, finishing touches. It's reading the small print twice. It's dotting the I's. It's crossing the T's. Making sure that all those tiny details are in place. And I was just saying here about you doing your homework. This is it as well. Looking into all the options and looking into all the small details of those options. How can you help yourself? The chariot. This is the card of moving forward, so there could be quite a fast movement forward coming on this week. This is lovely. Look, she's gliding across the ice easily. This card often shows up if things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stalled. Not anymore. Here you are making your move. And this card also reminds you to do so with balance and with discipline. So this is all... Um, really relevant to think it through, do your homework, find out all the small details. So this is going to be a fast movement forward, but it's going to be a, um, a very well thought out one. Pulling it all together, the Knight of Coins comes in and it's reiterating this message again. Make a plan. This is all about plan A, plan B and if necessary, plan C. She's the only knight in the whole deck, they all have a motorbike, that isn't riding hers. They're, they all usually come charging in at speed. Now this one's stopped. She's parked up and she's reading the map because she's planning, she's working out. And the importance of that is when she gets back onto this motorbike, she'll know exactly where she's going and exactly how to get there. So detailed planning is encouraged this week. And the outcome is lovely. The page of teacups brings in a message. All the pages are messengers. They all have a little envelope on the drawing. Now the page of teacups is messages of appreciation, messages of love. It can sometimes mean a new person stepping into your life, which is lovely. But generally, this is you receiving appreciation. Now that can be in a lovely message. It can also be in the form of help. It can also be in the form of advice as well. So looking just at your tarot cards to start with. A week to focus on self-belief. 
Look at all your options. Look at all the small print and make wise and detailed plans. Have a backup plan as well if necessary because the movement forward is here for you. And also lovely messages of appreciation. So this could be help. Um, it could be advice. Or it could be somebody coming in to help you. So let's get a little bit more information from this Time to Shine deck. The Zero of Wisdom. This is lovely. The Dreamer card. This is the first card in the whole deck. And it literally says, time for you to follow your dreams and enjoy new opportunities. You can do it. And I do feel that these opportunities come along once you make your choice. Your help or your hurdle. This is lovely. The Ten of Thought. This says expect the situation to improve. It's a time to move on, be happy and enjoy things as they get better. What do you need to focus on? Ten of Emotion. This is lovely. It's the Happy Ever After card. This is emotional fulfilment, happy times with loved ones, contented family life, quality time with loved ones and really um literally what it says happy ever after card trustworthy relationships and spending time with people that you love how can you help yourself keep going the one of thought this is lovely this says keep going through a learning phase Enjoy brilliant new ideas and clarity coming in. Now, the ones in this deck are aces. Something new. The thought suit is all about clarity, new ideas, new ways of doing things, working out what works well for you. So on the card here, she's missed with the first attempt at the goal, but now she's learnt what to do. So she's going to move forward with what works this is very much a card of light bulb moments, suddenly realising. And this could well come after you've thought things through and done your homework and found out all the small details. So this is your breakthrough moment. This is the light bulb moment coming on. Pulling it all together. The one of emotion. This is lovely. Another ace, another new beginning. Improving intuition. This is you listening to that little voice within and lovely new emotional experiences coming in. So we're talking about happiness, joy, positivity, optimism. Absolutely lovely. Something new, lovely new beginnings coming in this week. And your final outcome card, the six of emotion. This is a card principally of the past, which says you might be reminiscing, you might be talking about the past, remembering the past with love. But principally, this is about you doing what you've always wanted to do. And here she is, look, she's got choices. Here are these choices again. She can be an astronaut, she can be a chef or go to university and she's able to consider those choices now because the timing might be so much better this time round. So here you are. What a lovely week. So a week of choices and you choosing to do what you've always wanted to do. You saying, oh, yes, I can. But looking into things, checking the details, making a detailed plan. Somebody coming could be coming in to help you with with help with advice with appreciation so that's the mindfulness part of the reading and working out for yourself what has worked well and perhaps a new way of doing something and when you get that clarity here's your movement forward with ease the situation much improving and there you are going after what it is that you want, a fresh new start and you making that positive move forward. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and thank you even more for subscribing and pressing that bell button. It really does make a huge difference and it supports my channel and I'm truly grateful for that. So Aries, look after yourselves. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.